What's up, everybody? <laughs> you feel this beat right here? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hey! <laughs> we about to stamp this out. So if you feel me, come on. Hi everybody, it's Cindy here with Stamping Chick Creations. Welcome to this week's video. If you watched my unboxing video last week, you saw that I actually um, showed you one of the newest kits that Stampin' Up! has brought out. And I told you I was going to do a video on it. It's been a very, very busy week, so I hadn't had a chance to do it last week. But I'm here now to do the video for you. So let's take a look at the kit and uh, we'll talk about it. We'll explain the difference between this and the paper pumpkin. And um, we'll talk about the price point of this one because it's a fantastic price point at $20 Canadian. Um, plus shipping, handling, and taxes, of course. But um, $20 is actually a really amazing price for this kit. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so here we are. So your kit will come in a box like this, a brown box. These boxes are amazing. So make sure you keep them to store things in afterwards. They're great. They're great for gift giving, you name it. So when you open this box up, you will have your kit. Now I have taken the cellophane off mine already. Um, because I showcased it in the live the other day when I was did my unboxing. So this one is called Your Day to Shine Kit. And I am going to tell you, friends, this one is awesome. It's a $20 kit. Um, you can order it directly from my site. And this instruction sheet is all in color, just like our paper pumpkins. Um, and on the back, it tells you what should be inside the kit. It gives you um, some QR codes to uh, scan. It actually fills in what the coordinating Stampin' Up! colors are here for us. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is great. It's got the ruler on the side of the paper as well. So you can use that to um, measure your ribbons and, and these kind of things, okay? All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna take everything out of the box for right now, just because it's a little bit easier to do the video with. Um, okay, so I showed you these adorable little three by three envelopes that come. Okay, so we're gonna do three of those. And then we have the rest of the envelopes that coordinate with the um, card. So we'll have six of these, cause we're gonna do three of each. We have our embellishments, our dimensionals, and then our glue dots all included. And because this one doesn't have any stamping with it, they give us these pre-printed cards in all the languages where Stampin' Up! has, um, has, has, where you can purchase Stampin' Up! right? So we have French, we have, um, um, I was gonna say German, it's not German, New Zealand, um, oh, it's completely left me. Anyway, all the different languages <clears throat> is here. So we have three of those. If you can use those other languages, fantastic. Um, if you can't, then I guess you can just throw them out. Um, then we have our elements that are all gonna get punched out. So like, again, no stamping on this kit. So this is a great, great, great beginner kit. Um, and then here are some more words. We have friend on here, again, shine. Uh, again, we have um, them in all the languages. And then here's our cards. So these card bases are stunning. There's three of those. There's three of these. And then there's our three little pieces for our three by three cards. Then we have our vellum. So we have our elements uh, like uh, labels here. And then we have some like uh, branches. And then this one here has the butterflies and then a little floral um, item. And then of course we have our chipboard. Our chipboard is fantastic. Um, for so many things. So do not throw out that chipboard. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to open this up and here it's telling me that I need um, a label and the word shine. Okay, so let's go find the word shine. So what I like to do is once I find shine, I like to punch them all out at the same time if I can. So I've just done all the sheets at the same time. Um, and then it's telling me I need the vellum label. So this long label is what it's telling me. So I need one, I need two, I need three. Okay, so we're good that way. Um, what else do I need? 
So we got that and that. It's telling me I need this yellow rectangle here. So that's these ones. Again, I just punched them all out at the same time. And I need the word, it's your day. So here on these words, it's your day. Okay. All right. I think we have everything we need. Oh, and then we need the butterfly, but that's just on a single sheet. So we're good. Okay. So the very first thing I'm going to do is looks like I'm going to use my dimensionals and I'm going to put it onto my vellum piece. So here's my vellum pieces. Here's my word shine. I'm just going to get my little envelope. here. Okay, so I'm going to use two dimensionals, one on the S and one on the E. So one on the S, one on the E. And I'm going to place this on my vellum. And saying about here. Okay. So we're good that way. And then I'm going to use my glue dots. It's telling me, cause those are the smaller dots. Um, and I'm going to adhere this onto this piece here. Okay. So we can do that. So I'm going to actually take my take your pick tool though, cause I prefer to use my take your pick tool for this kind of stuff. Um, and my glue dots. And I'm going to put this here and here. Okay. So I got my nails painted for my mom's birthday party and oh, they're just painted. They're not even acrylics, but they're, they're so thick that I can't, I can't actually lift anything off with them. I don't know how people do it with acrylics, honestly. Okay, so I'm going to line this up straight on my grid paper. Oh, well, let's just make sure that's straight because it moved on me. And then I'm going to place this here. Okay, we're good. So we got step two done. Step three is it's wanting me to attach the, dement or the glue dots to the back here. Oh. <laughs> I'm not having much luck there. Okay, here we go. Where's my spatula? There. Okay. So now it wants me to put this onto my green card bases. So here's my green card bases. Now this card is intended to be a, a landscape card. However, if you choose to make it a portrait card, you absolutely can do that. Okay, I'm not sure why I'm struggling today. I was actually thinking about getting acrylic nails to try it for our trip to Mexico. And I think this has just told me I don't want them because I can't even work with my real nails, let alone acrylic nails. Okay, so here is my card base. It's telling me I want to put this piece onto here. So I'm going to place this about there. And then I'm going to use dimensionals to right here. So it's time to use three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. That one's a little bit too high. Um, so I'm going to do, it's your day to shine. Okay. Now I need that little butterfly, um, right here. There's my little butterfly and it's telling me with a dimensional, one dimensional. And it's telling me to put it about here. And then it's telling me to use my Take your pick tool and use, it's telling me five 
rhinestones. So, let's have you one there. One here. And one here. It's telling me Um, I don't know that we need five. Honestly, I, there. Okay. So here is card number one of this kit. And you can see how beautiful this card is. Right? So again, if I wanted this to go this way, I likely could have done that. Right? Um, so yeah, so there's card number one. Um, okay, let's do another one. Might as well just do them, right? Let's just do them. Okay, so again, I want my dimensionals. So now I know what I'm doing. I'm going to move a little bit quicker because we're now pros at this. The first card's always the more stressful card because you really don't know what it is you're trying to achieve, right? Okay. But now we know exactly what we're wanting to do. And again, if you wanted to, oh, is my, hang on one second. Looks like my camera has froze. Okay, that's gonna be one of these days today. See if that works. There. Okay, my camera froze. Um, seems to be doing that quite a bit lately, actually. I don't know why. So again, if you wanted to um, make these a little bit different, you absolutely could do that. Um, I'm going to put these glue dots right. So I'm placing these glue dots right on top of the dimensionals. Um, so then that way you don't see them. Where's my picker? Right here. So, shine. Okay. There we go. And... Come on. There we go. Okay. It's really frustrating when you can't use your nails. Okay. There's my shine. So we have that part done. Now we just need to adhere this all to the back, right? So we're going to use our four glue dots. like that and we are going to come on oh such a pain when I can't use my nails I'm so used to just being able to pick them off right okay so now I'm going to place these here Make sure my card is straight. Shine. And do this one as well. Over here. And. Got little glue pieces all over the place again because I normally stick these right in the garbage, but I'm a little bit frustrated this morning. So we will take our roller and we will clean those all up in just a second here. Shine. Okay. Now we're going to do It's Your Day. So let's 
Let's do this. It's your day. We'll do three of these. Pick those off. See, these ones I can pick off okay. The little teeny weeny ones I cannot. Um, it's your day to shine. Okay. Uh, let's just move this to the side for a second. Yeah, there we go. You're still with me, I hope. Okay, and I'm going to put this one here, this one here, and that one there. I'm going to put this butterfly over here because I feel like it's missing something there. Just the way I've situated my cards. There, okay, and then we're going to use our rhinestones. I'm not going to put five rhinestones. I don't think we need five rhinestones. I know it tells you to put five, but I don't think we actually need five. I think one, oops, one right here. I think one here and one here is all we need. Okay, card number two, done. Now, let's do this one, rhinestone. We'll do one here. We'll do one here, and then we'll do one here. Okay, card number three. See how simple these are and how quickly they're coming together? Okay, so now, all right, so now let's go ahead and take our um, lint roller. I was like, what is this thing called? And we're gonna clean up this desk a little bit. Now this lint roller is super duper duper sticky. All right, so it's got the most of it. Let's get on to card number two. So card number two, we're gonna do a little three by three card. How much fun is this one? Okay, let's go ahead and get these cards. It looks like they're gonna go this way, so that's fun. Okay, so we've got all three of these here. And it looks like we're gonna use the happy birthday with the pink flag. Okay, so let's go happy birthday. All three of those. Um, we need the pink flag, so we'll do all three of those. And it looks like we're gonna need this big flower. No, the small flower, sorry. So when you, when you go to do these, just keep in mind, like, look at the flower. So it looks like we'll need those. And it looks like we're going to need these. No, not these ones. We're going to need, where did they go? These three here. These three flowers. Okay. Now, you can use this as a template if you want, or you can just throw it in the garbage, whatever you prefer. Okay, let's rock this one out. Here we go. So it's telling me happy birthday on the pink flag using glue dots. Again, this is great because my fingers uh, cannot pick anything up. Okay, so glue dots. Let's move this over here. Glue dot one. Glue dot two. No, no, and I know I can't do that with these fingers. Does anybody have any tricks for me on how to work with um, work with things with fake nails? Well, they're not fake nails. These are actually my real nails. But um, okay, so I'm going to do all three of these at the same time. Now, the one thing I'm going to kind of pay attention to is making sure I'm putting these more in the middle, the glue dots because we want them to hang on to the flag, right? So I'm just using my take your pick tool to put those down. Oh. 
Oh, I should move that one over. See if I can. There we go. Okay, one more. one for this one. All right, so now what does it want me to do? It wants me to attach these to the flower. Okay, so I can attach those with dimensionals. So I can do that. One, two, onto the flower so the flower is going to go this way and I'm going to put my happy birthday about there okay we got this and we'll do this one that way and that way okay so now what does it want me to do it wants me so i've done this i've done this so now it's telling me to take this rectangle in the vellum rectangle in the vellum i got that one oops i'm dropping all my papers over here because they're all getting tangled up yeah i'm getting a little rammy okay vellum 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 <clears throat> with a glue dot with the glue dot and I'm going to put it right here okay all right I can do this so you use the vellum or use the glue dot so that you don't see it that's the purpose let's just come on there we go and I'm gonna put this here Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it this way. So then the, um, what happens is that the glue dots will be covered by this piece that I'm assuming is going to go in here with dimensionals and then the little, um, oh, I need the little flowers too. Okay. I missed that part. I need this little flower goes on here as well missed that there we go okay so this is going to go on with a dimensional it's telling me to use three dimensionals here so maybe i'll just jump to the next card after this one because oh this is cute friends this one's cute i'm not gonna lie okay dimensional Here, flower. Okay, this one is stinking adorable, except for the fact that this is on a diagonal. There, like that. That's better. Oop, kind of on a crooked diagonal now. What in the heck is happening? There, that's better. Okay, look how cute that one is adorable okay i'm not going to finish these ones up right now because i think i think you get the the idea of that one okay let's put these off to the side <clears throat> let's go with number three number three is we're going to use the pot friend um the flowers so basically whatever we have left over okay let's just let's just go with it let's just go with it so we're going to use these we're going to use these we're going to use all of these. So whatever is left over is what we got. Okay. 
There we go. There we go. Okay, so now we know we need this card base. It's telling me to use this with the word friend. So this is going to go about here with my word friend, which is here. So here's my friend. So let's use our dimensionals. One, two, three, four. Now it's telling me to use half dimensionals um, for the word friend. But what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stick it in the middle like that. And this is gonna go here. And then I need the word hello, which is right here. And I'm gonna use a dimension on that as well. I don't think I'm supposed to. I think I'm supposed to use glue dots on this one. Actually, no, maybe I'll use the glue dots. Maybe we should follow some of the instructions properly. What do you think? One, two. There you go. Hello, friend. Okay, so then my dimensional here, this will go here. So we'll use a couple dimensionals on this. So that will go, oh, shoot. Oh, could I just do this whole thing and... Oh, I am so sorry. I was such in a groove. I didn't realize that this was not... Oh, this camera is driving me nuts. Apparently it's time for a new camera. Or something. Okay, so my apologies on that. Oh, so frustrating. It does this every once in a while. I'm not sure why. I feel like it's always the days that I'm in the most hurry. Um, it does it, but... Um, okay, so then this one... So we're going to put this in here. We're going to use the yellow flower. Here. And then there is a vellum piece. That we're going to use glue dots on. Oh, so frustrated with that. My apologies. Well, if you stuck around that long, thank you. So frustrated today with these nails. Okay. And then this will go like that. So there is the last card. Okay, so let's recap. We have this one, we have this one, and we have this one. So for $20, this is a phenomenal kit, an absolutely phenomenal kit. So if you would like to order this kit, you can do so directly from my website, um, and it will ship directly to your door, which is really awesome. Um, and it's only $20 plus tax and shipping. So, and if you would like, um, I have two kits here in the in the studio right now. You can purchase those from me, um, or you can order as many as you want um, directly from my website. All right, so thank you everybody for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we will chat with you very soon. Bye.